All right there, YouTubers. Uh, this is a little overview of my uh, off-grid battery upgrade that I just did for a customer. Uh, we just put an 800 amp hour bank of Iron Edison's in. Um, we went up running 38 batteries, dropped two because we're running outback inverters. We had to drop two to keep the voltages where they needed to be. Uh, this is a system I've been working on probably for about five years. Somebody else originally installed it and uh, they left it in pretty serious disarray, wires going everywhere. Um, it was a, it was a pretty ugly situation. The batteries used to be probably 25 feet away in another room. They have two different types of batteries. There was just tons and tons of problems. But uh, as you can see, this is a quad stack of Outback converters. Uh, I just added a couple midnight charge controllers to this system. Um, got everything up and running pretty darn good. Uh, I also added, since I did the Iron Edison batteries, I dropped the FlexNet battery charger status monitor from Outback in there. Uh, I got two Outback MX60s, and I'm going to be adding a couple FX80s here pretty soon. We're going to be putting about another, I think, 5kW of solar on. Uh, this is a bigger bigger residence and it needs quite a bit more power than what the original system was. So the upgrades that we did was uh, we added some new battery cable for all the few, the cabling going over here. I uh, added a, a safety box right here with a little plexiglass so he knows that there's a fuse underneath there. Um, this system mainly, it doesn't have a lot of big loads instantaneously. It's a lot of continuous draw. So the fusing that we have should be fine for what it is. It's mainly the, the four inverters are for charging. Uh, we have a, a redundancy in charging and extra capacity for the winter time. Um, so so it's, it seems to be doing pretty good. Um, again, these are the Iron Edison batteries. It was, a, it was a pretty interesting procedure putting them all in place. We had a, a pretty, pretty busy three days getting the system all redone and uh, up and running. There's a little top view of them. Had a, we had a few snags along the way. Had some stuff misshipped and some stuff not shipped. But we per persevered and got everything up and running. Uh, I have all the tooling so it's nice to be able to make custom cables so they all fit nice and tight. And uh, not a lot of extra slack going everywhere. I think I might wind up doubling them up later but this is kind of where I'm at right now. I got to come back in a couple weeks and and do a little more work to it. But uh, this this system turned out really nice. And uh, after a long three days, I'm ready to get home. So I uh, hope you liked it. Thank you.